Hi everybody, welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. I hope you're having a great day. This is a fun one. So over on Ginger's Corner, we do different swaps. We do not just do embellishment swaps. And yesterday we started the card swap sign up. So if that is something you'd be interested in creating four cards and swapping them with a partner, click that link in the description, join Ginger's Facebook group, Ginger's Corner Facebook group, and come swap with us. It's a lot of fun. It truly, truly is. Um, so I have created four cards. Um, this month's theme, we don't do this every month. We do it every third month, so four times a year. This time we are doing a fall theme, right? So um, we create anything that has to do with fall. So what I did is I took my border strips and I'm gonna show you a little play by play here to music just real quick and I created these four cards. Now when I did this, I went through my binder. I have a binder just for fall because fall is my favorite time of year that sits on my shelves and I just flipped through here and I found some embellishments, some by my scrappy pals through swaps, some of them were ephemera and I just created these cards. It literally took me about 15 minutes. I am not kidding you. And I used up those border strips, right? So this one here, I believe this was made by Kimberly L. And she had put all these little bits um, for a swap. I don't know if it was fall or coffee. I honestly don't remember. And then inside I put the third cup with the coffee beans, inked it, and called it good. Now I did when I use border strips, I do kind of like to match them, either make them monochromatic or like this one here. These were simple um, pink fresh papers, except for this strip, and they all just work together. So I kept them together. This is one side. Let's see. I think this is, no. One of them's the A side and the B side. So it just worked. It was a strip that I had left over. This was made by Michelle Furland in a fall swap. Inside, I put the little tag and I will give this to whoever um, ends up with my card and they will have that as well. They can use it as they see fit. Now me personally, I don't like to put anything on the inside, but you could stamp a sentiment or whatever you would like on the inside. Um, there's that one. This one was just a piece of ephemera I had left over from a collection. And I simply um, put some strips of paper and that's it. That simple. Nothing fancy at all. <laughs> Nothing fancy at all. This one here, I don't remember who made this. I can't remember, but the, the little fenders are up on foam, and I will put close-ups of these at the end. This was also an embellishment swap goodie, and then this, I believe I got this as a gift from someone, and I just took three strips. This is the A side. This is the B side. This is that, that same paper, and then put a thanks foam on top of it. This is a corkboard foam and then put the embellishment on it. That's it, inked it and called it good. Um, I love these, these are so cute. Now, uh, I don't, you know what? If I get a partner then I'm gonna make new ones cause you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna have a giveaway. So I'm gonna do a little fast forward so you can kind of see how I use my strips. I know some people like to see that and then I'll come back. We're gonna talk about this nice big old huge card kit um, giveaway and what you have to do to enter that. So hang in there.
hope you enjoyed that. Um, use up those border strips, y'all. <laughs> like, I'm not a huge card maker. There are people that are amazing card makers. I'm not one of those people. I'm just not. Um, but that is a great way to be part of the swap and make pretty cards. So I will include these four. Whoops, this fell out. Oopsie daisy. Um, I will include these four in this giveaway. Now this is going to be a flat rate box. It will be open to international swappers as well, but if you're an international swapper and you win, when you see how much paper you're gonna understand, I will just give you a gift card for $10 instead because it'll cost me 60 bucks to mail it to you. <laughs> so if everybody can enter to win and we'll talk about that, but if you're an international um, entry and you win, I'll draw a second winner, okay? So these were gifted by Captain Linda. She actually gifted them to me um, because she knows I use a lot of cards. I give away the cards and 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 all kinds of stuff when I am mailing to captains and my teams and winners to the blessings box. So she gifted this to me and they are so beautiful. I thought I would include them in the card kit. Now there's no envelopes with them, but you will get the cards. Just a standard, isn't that bow just precious? Just so pretty. She made beautiful cards. So I will put all of these in this card kit, okay? So you're gonna get made cards. Look, that one has googly eyes. Isn't it cute? And there's another one of those. I'm also going to include this pack of vellum. You know this came in of a recent card kit and these are wonderful for the inside of your cards. So you're gonna get that. You are going to get these stacks of paper. They're perfect for card fronts. Um, I, these also came out of a recent Blessings box. You're going to get this embellishment. You could put that right on the front of a card. Um, if you saw my video where this came out of, you know that uh, Caroline also has a video for this card making kit. So definitely. This was gifted by Miss Shannon. And this is a small stamp platform from We Are Memory Keepers. You're going to get this. I told you guys this is not a small one. Then there are some stamped elements. You can fussy cut them, put them on the front of a card. Then I have included, I do not know why I printed these out, but I have included some card maps. Did you know that Page Maps also has card maps? You can go and print them off. They're all from different years. Again, I don't know why I printed these off, but I'm going to include those because I will never use them and I don't want to waste them. So put those in there. Then you're going to get this entire stack of paper. Yep. Some of these packs are brand spanking new. And um, they were donated through a blessings box. Now, eight and a half by 11 papers. If you cut them this way at five and a half, you get two card bases out of it. Perfect, right? And then there is a purple. And then there are all of these papers as well. If you are a card maker... This is the prize for you, seriously. So in order to win, you get two chances to win. This will go until the mailing date of the card swap, which I believe, hmm, I, have it, I have it printed off, hang on. I have my calendar printed off, let me get it. Okay, so our, the mailing date of the card swap is let's see here the 15th so this giveaway will go until the 15th so you can comment here on youtube or you can go over to ginger's corner and comment on that if you do both you get entered twice to win this giveaway so what i will do is i'll let the comments go until the 15th and i will draw the winner on the 18th okay let me write it down you guys, these are over on Ginger's Corner under the file documents tab. And Miss Mallory made printables for all of the swaps and when to mail them. So card kit winner. This is how I do it. So um, definitely you can go and print this off. You can make yourself little notes, whatever you'd like to be. I encourage you to do that. Come join the card swap. We still have time. You have till midnight tonight to um, comment on there and I will pair you up with a partner personally. And I want to thank Captain Sherry. She takes care of this swap personally. Um, there are a couple others that help monitor the chats too when we have a bunch of partners. But um, this is definitely Sherry's um, 
baby. She loves to make cards. She loves Captain Sherry, loves to make cards. So I want to thank to everyone who donates to the Blessing Box. You guys come join us over on Facebook. I hope you have a blessed day, and I will see you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.